Hello, what's up everybody? My name is Carlos Vitrago Pizan, RTRVI. Welcome back to my channel, Lazy Bones Radiology. In today's episode, I'll be covering the body planes and how we use them throughout our field in radiography. Before we start, don't forget to press that like button and subscribe to the channel and share with your friends so we can all learn together. Let's begin. From the last episode, we covered the terminology and their relationship to the anatomical position. Using the knowledge that we learned, we are now going to be looking at a different point of view, which we refer to as planes. Reviewing the anatomical position, this is when a patient stands erect with the face and eyes facing forward, arms are extended by the sides, hands are facing forward, and the heels are together with the toes pointed forward. Remember, this is the neutral position. Do not forget it. Using the anatomical position, we are able to subdivide the body using imaginary planes. These imaginary planes help us see the body in a more detailed way by slicing the body in different directions for us to identify structures in respect to how they are positioned in the body. There are four main types of body planes. Sagittal, coronal, horizontal, and oblique plane. The following definitions were gathered from Merrill's Atlas of Radiographic Positioning and Procedures. This is a series that I used when I was a student, so I highly recommend it. The first plane that we'll be talking about is the sagittal plane. This plane divides the body into right and left parts, as you can see here in the skull, and they start from anterior to posterior. This allows the body to be visualized in a very unique way. So as you make left and right parts, here's a sagittal plane, we're able to identify structures superiorly, inferiorly, anterior, and posterior. It is very important that you're able to identify structures when visualizing a sagittal plane. Now, still on the topic of the sagittal plane, they divide into right and left parts, and they start from anterior to posterior. These are sagittal planes. Now, there is a specific sagittal plane that must not be confused from the other sagittal planes. This plane is called the mid-sagittal plane, which divides the body into equal left and right parts. One way that I remember, if you look at a hot dog bun, there's only one slice that goes down the middle, making two halves. It is very important not to confuse the terminology of a mid-sagittal plane, which makes two equal halves, while a regular sagittal plane cuts the body into left and right parts. Multiple sagittal planes, only one mid-sagittal plane. Next, the coronal plane. This is the plane that divides the body into anterior and posterior parts. So, you're looking at the skull, starting from anterior to posterior, this is a 90 degree difference from a sagittal plane. When looking at a coronal plane, as you can see here, we're able to identify structures superiorly, inferiorly, and lateral and medial. Very important that you know how to identify structures when looking at a coronal plane. Like the mid-sagittal plane, the coronal plane also has a mid-coronal plane. So, let's review. Coronal planes divide the body from anterior to posterior segments, from left to right. The mid-coronal plane makes equal anterior and posterior parts, also known as the mid-axillary plane. Know the difference between a coronal and a mid-coronal plane, or a mid-axillary plane. One way that I am able to identify coronal planes, if you look at a loaf of bread, all the little slices make a coronal plane. Just know that it's right in the middle, that's a mid-coronal plane. So, multiple coronal planes, only one mid-coronal plane. Very important that you write this down and do not get them confused. Next is a horizontal plane. This plane divides the body from superior and inferior parts. So these slices are made crosswise throughout or along the body in a perpendicular or right angle to the coronal plane, also known as a transverse axial or a cross-sectional plane. Now, looking at a horizontal plane, we are only able to identify structures anteriorly, posteriorly, lateral, and medial. Very important that you're able to identify structures when looking at a horizontal or a cross-sectional plane. Going back to bread, if you stack up your bread, those are horizontal planes. I use these little type of tricks. That way, when you're looking at a test, you don't get confused and you're able to identify something that's 
familiar, like bread. Now, the oblique plane. This is the last plane we'll be covering, which is a very unique plane because it divides the body unlike the traditional planes that we just discussed. This plane passes through the body at any angle other than the horizontal and vertical planes. So here's a picture of the mid sagittal and mid coronal plane. Any direction or any angle that is not with the traditional 90 degrees is an oblique plane. So for example, here on the left hand side, we have a horizontal plane and you see the one, two, three, th those are oblique planes. As you can see on the right, we're able to identify the carotid artery using an oblique plane. Traditional coronal and sagittal planes would not be able to identify or visualize the carotid artery because it's not positioned in a 90 degree. Okay, now there are some special planes that we must cover. The interiliac plane. This is a plane that lies on the top of the iliac crest or on the top of your pelvis at the level of L4 and L5. Next is the acusal plane. This is a plane formed by the biting surface of the upper and lower teeth within the jaw. So, when you put your hands on your hips, that is the interiliac plane. And when you make a big smile when you're taking a selfie, that's the occlusal plane. This concludes today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and learned the difference between the planes. Please rewatch and take notes. If you are not understanding, it is very important that you understand the information because everything builds on top of each other. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to press that like button and share with your friends and also subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me on lazybones underscore radiology. Thank you. You guys have a great day.